Welcome to my Milkman game devlog number 8. This time I'm adding in some vehicles on the road to act as obstacles to Mr. Milkman, but I want to make them move on their own, so I'll have to program in a very basic AI system to keep them on the road and not move too weirdly. Yeah. Okay, I'll get to that later. So the first thing I do is import a slightly modified milk truck as an asset into Unity and add a bunch of colliders. I call this the civilian truck. I test this and the collider works well. Perhaps too well as it's acting as though it is immovable. So I add a rigid body and naturally everything falls apart with the chassis falling through the ground. I figure out that I just need to click Convex on the Mesh Collider which allows it to collide if it also has a rigid body component. So now it works and the civilian truck reacts like a cardboard vehicle. The civilian truck still looked pretty unnatural on collision so I changed the mass. I drove around a bit with these static objects to get a feel for how difficult or easy it would be to negotiate turns and slip through the traffic. I was pretty satisfied with how it felt, but it did feel a little creepy driving around this ghost town. I then started work on scripting the movement of these zombie trucks, as they weren't much good just sitting there. It took me a bit of messing about and copying old code, and I tried it out, but something weird happened. All the vehicles just disappeared. I could see the car there for a split second after reducing the mass of the civilian truck, but then it all disappeared. I tweaked the code again, but the vehicles became stationary. I then figured out that I was working with the wrong axis. By playing with the transform figures in Unity, I figured out that I shouldn't have been scripting a change to the Y axis, it should have been to the Z axis. I fixed the relevant axis, but it had a different effect. Only one vehicle was moving now, so I suspected I wasn't applying the script to the prefab properly, and promptly fixed it. Okay, now all of them were moving, but it looked like I was doing some Dragonborn stuff to the vehicles. I then reduced the speed significantly, but there appeared to be some rogue vehicle that was moving much faster than the others. Then it was finally able to make all the vehicles move at once, but a separate problem came up. It seemed to be that the vehicles were just floating in midair, so I clicked use gravity, and that seemed to fix it. So I drove around to see how the milk van would interact with the other vehicles, and was alright with the result. I then tried to increase the speed of the civilian trucks a little, so that the movement was more realistic and challenging to negotiate on the road. I then wrote some code to accommodate cars going forwards and backwards. This was simply done by applying different scripts depending on whether a vehicle is facing one way or another, and applying a negative value to the forward force for the opposite direction. The major problem with this concept was that I was using 0 degrees or 180 degrees as the trigger for the rest of the movement code. But what if the vehicle bumps into something slightly and changes its direction from 0 degrees to 0.5 degrees for example? Well that would mean that that particular vehicle stops and that's what's happened here. You can see the vehicle in front hits the road bump and its rotation in all likelihood changes a tiny bit, meaning it is either not zero or not 180 degrees exactly, hence it stops. The same applies to the vehicles piling up behind it. So I thought about a way to do this where I could list a range of values under which the vehicle would have to turn back to its original direction on the road. But anyway, after messing about for a while and getting tangled in my own logic statements, I built some incredibly clunky code which looked something like this. Okay, so obviously my logic statements were not working. I was getting tangled up because some vehicles had to face forward and some backwards, so I introduced a boolean value called facing forward, 
and basically divided the treatment of the code into two categories, those vehicles facing forward and those facing back, i.e. towards me. It seemed to work, but some vehicles that turned past the midway mark appeared to then go the other way on the road, which was odd. I then messed around a bit more and found the civilian trucks facing me were constantly turning. No matter how I tweaked the script, I couldn't seem to fix this issue, until I became very specific about the AND OR statements, and which values they applied to exactly. It was now time to write some code to make it look like the trucks weren't moving too weirdly. I mean, come on. I wanted to make it so that once the vehicles flipped over, not as if they were doing some weird stuff like this. So I scripted a long line of conditional statements right at the top to test whether the vehicle at the beginning of the frame was in a weird rotation or not. If it was not in a strange position, then the rest of the code would apply, including moving forward and turning back in the right direction. This worked. I was pretty happy with the result. Except on further testing, I noticed something strange. Some vehicles who had not rotated on the x-axis in such a way as to stop its movement were still moving on the road. So I tweaked the values under which it was acceptable for the civilian trucks to keep moving. And again, it was a bit weird. I tweaked it further since I wasn't thinking in three-dimensional space properly. This time I tested out the effect of changing various rotation values to make it easier to clarify which values ought to be changed. And, well, it worked. The vehicles were piling up like I expected they would. Now I just wanted to switch the direction of the civilian trucks around. Now I know this doesn't make any sense in terms of traffic lanes and the double white line, but I think it'll be a bit more challenging driving through the traffic if every other lane is going in the opposite direction. The result was quite good, I think. What do you think? Finally, you may have noticed some very strange movement of civilian trucks up the hill, so I drove round the side of the buildings to observe this uh, strange phenomenon. The next thing I'll work on is building different types of vehicles using the same code so that it doesn't look so boring. I will also work on keeping the traffic flowing so that the cars don't simply run out and deplete, and so that they don't start climbing up the mountain. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.